What's up YouTube, it's Ali here making another video for you guys, welcome back to my channel, today I'm going to be doing a series which I started quite a while ago, it's called Storytime with Ali, the reason why I haven't continued on this Storytime with Ali, because I ran out of stories so I didn't really have any stories to tell you guys, basically Storytime with Ali is where I tell you guys stories that happened in my life, something that I've experienced or something that I've witnessed, I tell you guys about it, so if you guys have not watched any of the other Storytimes with Ali, I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist which you can go and watch them i think i've got like four or five videos maybe uh, on story time with ali if so if you guys are wondering why i got these bandages on my arm that's because i have started going back to the gym again and all of you guys that go to the gym or have been to the gym know that when you start um you shouldn't really start on really high weight and i accidentally did that and yeah my whole tricep and bicep is all messed up so it's really hard for me to straighten my arm yeah i am really sore right now so that's why i have those bandages on but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about the story that i'm gonna tell you guys so this story is about basically when i went to sleep next to a demon or a ghost you could say in islam uh they're called jinns but I don't know what you would call jinns in English. I think they're more demons or ghosts, something like that. Basically, this happened a really long time ago in 2008. And that was when I went to Pakistan for the first time. I was born in Pakistan, but that was the first time going back to Pakistan since I was born. Basically, when I went to Pakistan, I went there first. And then my cousins from the UK went to Pakistan also. So while we were there, I decided to stay with my cousins. And my mom would stay uh, with my grandma. And grandma like her mom and dad so i was staying with my other granddad and grandma which is my dad's mom and dad i stayed with that side of the family for a few days they have family in the countryside so yeah we decided to go stay there getting there was a mission it was an absolute mission we were in this van i'll put a picture up on the screen as to what type of van it was it was sort of like a toyota van those of you guys that have been pakistan or know of pakistan you know that those vans are really popular in pakistan so yeah we were in one of them and the roads to get to that location where my cousin's side of the family lives was very very messed up the roads were not even roads they were just completely rocks all over the place so the say here's the car and the car was literally going bang bang the suspension like bang bang yeah so the car was really shaking and there were no roads leading up to that area as i said it was in a completely completely isolated area so ever all around the house there was just jungle it was it looked like a jungle so yeah after the first night i stayed there we decided to go up into the jungle but there there was so much trees stingers and bushes and everything in the way like to get through that jungle you would actually need a machete or something to cut down all the trees and everything in front of you we didn't go up into the jungle area there was a sort of like a path that you would take to a certain place uh, there, i don't know there was something on top of a mountain there's a mountain there but yeah you would have to like cut your way through the path because the path uh, like there's overgrown with trees and everything but yeah we didn't go through that we spent a night there we had our food and everything and i really desperately needed i think i needed a piss or something they, what they had there didn't have like a proper uk toilet you know like a standard toilet that everyone knows there were no toilets like that there there was like a instead of was like a wooden shack I put a picture up onto the screen as to what type of wooden shack I'm talking about. I went to the shack because I needed to piss and I opened the door. What I was met by was something crazy. All I saw as soon as I opened the door, there were like crickets and all that stuff all over the inside of the toilet. It was nasty and all I saw was in the corner next to the toilet i think it was a hole in the ground you know obviously pakistan is a, a a third world country basically there's like a hole in the floor and you gotta squat to take a, a a number two near that area there was there was just a frog there just jumping up and down in one spot just it, the frog was just staring at me like this just staring at me like that and just jumping up and down in that one area and i was like you know what I forget this. I slammed the door and walked up. They had two dogs. They had one massive dog. I don't know what breed it was, but it was a huge dog. One of the dogs will come into play after. I'm going to tell you guys now. But this is the serious bit. This is where it gets serious. So the first night that we actually went to sleep there, my brothers went and slept next to my cousins. And I had other cousins there that are a bit younger than me. I decided to go sleep next to them. In that area where we went to sleep, so say here's my window right here's my bedroom say this is the wall and there's a window right here yeah uh, straight outside the window like i'm saying what three to four centimeters just like see if i got out the window took like five steps there was a huge huge tree 
a huge gigantic tree overlooking the house and in that tree there supposedly are uh, jinns aka ghosts or devils or whatever you want to say they were in the tree obviously you can't see them but that was the thing that they're saying there's jinns in the tree those of you guys that know what jinns are you know obviously you know how scary they are and everything if you guys don't know what jinns are just type in j-i-n-s into google and just do some research and you know what it is basically it's like a devil type scary type ghost thing and apparently they were that tree was infested by them the way i found out there were there were jinns in that tree or ghosts when we got there the car stopped outside the tree and i was looking towards the car you know like when you when you're just chilling and you start walking backwards i was just walking backwards like this and it be towards the tree and my uncle quickly grabbed me and said come this way come this way and i was like why why he was just saying just just because he didn't want to scare me he didn't tell me but then later on we found out in fact that tree was infested by jinn's ghosts our bed was right in the corner of the room so straight ahead of it was a window i slept in the middle between my cousins if i looked straight up the window was right there in front of my face straight through that window there was a that bloody damn crazy tree was there and it was pitch black as i said we were in a rural area where there were no like a street lights and stuff like that so once it got dark it was pitch black i was so scared i was so scared i like next to the window there were two big bricks so what i did i closed them you know here you have like actual windows over there there was like bars on the window and then there was like two wooden doors that you would close like that i closed them i put two bricks in front of them and i had to go sleep knowing that literally four or five centimeters outside the window there was a massive tree with infested gins and ghosts and whatnot in that tree <laughs> even though i was on i was in the middle between my cousins i was still so so scared when i went to sleep i put the blanket over my head over my legs completely like cocooned myself in the blanket and i and surprisingly surprisingly knowing that there were some demons and stuff outside my window i actually fell asleep surprisingly i have no idea how it happened but it was a very scary night but somehow i managed to fall asleep but then when i woke up in the morning i had a stomach ache when i woke up i was just laying in bed you know trying to fight the stomach ache see if it would go away a few seconds later try, while doing that i I heard a noise i heard a noise something like sss, sss. i heard a noise like that yeah because of the hissing noises i thought there was a snake under my bed so i was kind of debating should i jump off the bed and run for it or in my head was like if i jump off the bed the snake is gonna chase me and that was going through my head i had to sit there for a few minutes debating in my head whether i should jump off the bed and make a room for it and in my head it was like oh if i jump off the bed the snake's gonna catch me oh if he stings me i'm gonna die and this is gonna happen to me i sat there for like a good like 20 minutes in my head thinking should i do it should i not i was sweating a lot then i was like you know what thug life i literally leaped off the bed i went flying off the bed ran straight for the door and then i turned around i looked underneath the bed and there there it was the massive massive dog that i mentioned earlier that massive dog was just lying underneath the bed making those weird hissing noises i don't know if the dog made that hissing noise or if it was the jinns or ghosts in the tree making that noise i don't know if you guys believe in jinns or ghosts and you know demons and like that i do i know i believe in the stuff like that i know some of you might not believe in that some of you might think oh it's just bs and everything like that oh, i don't believe in it or anything but I, I believe that there are like crazy stuff out there like that like demons ghosts and everything my auntie basically told me uh, told everyone the story while we were sitting down and i heard the story i don't think i was supposed to hear it but i heard it um she said one day i was laying down uh sleeping and in the middle of the night i think in the middle of the night her husband got up and went uh, i don't know probably went to the toilet or went to get water or something uh she woke up she started feeling the like i don't know the left side of her bed like uh, probably just see if her husband's there and uh, she was feeling the side of the bed and her husband wasn't there so she was like what the hell where's my husband gone she woke up and she looked to her left side to see if her husband was there she said her husband was standing there just standing looking at her just staring at her she was like saying to him come down lay down go back to sleep go back to sleep and then she said well she said that her husband was just standing there and just completely vanished in front of her eyes like expanded and vanished and i i don't know if that's true i mean that kind of sounds a bit a, a bit like stupid but i don't know if i believe that i know that back then that shut me up so bad like i was super scared when i heard that i don't know if that's true that i mean it doesn't sound true come on but 
who knows? Who knows? Then she said, yeah, her husband and vanished straight in front of her and she started screaming. And then her husband, like from wherever he was, I think he went to the toilet or something, came running inside the room saying, what happened? What happened? And she was like, weren't you just here? Weren't you just straight, straight in front of me? You just vanished straight in front of me. Yeah, and basically that was the scary story that my auntie told everyone while we were there. I can't believe it. I actually spent a night sleeping in an area where there was a tree right outside the house with the infested tree with gins and ghosts and all that stuff in there oh i'm just so lucky that nothing happened to me nothing happened to my family while we were there i don't think anyone experienced anything weird while we were there luckily we did not tell me down below have you guys experienced anything like that have you slept in a haunted house or done something crazy like that or been near a, a, a haunted place or a haunted object or something like that tell me down below and also tell me down below do you guys believe in like these demons ghost gins and stuff like this do you guys believe in stuff like that tell me if you do tell me down below and if you don't tell me also tell me down below because i want to get sort of a discussion going on as to do you believe it or do you not but anyway guys i'm gonna end the story time with ali here i hope you guys enjoyed this story if you did please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching